from your weather authority. Here's Dr. Athena Masson, sponsored by Jim Bass Cars and Trucks. Remember just last weekend we were talking about our high temperatures that were above average for this time of the year? Well, we did a complete 180 today. We are talking about temperatures below average for the fall season, rising up to a comfortable 70 degrees today. We should be 10 degrees higher, though, sitting at around 80 degrees. Luckily, though, we did not come close to this record of 100 degrees setback in 1926. We do need a little bit of a break from those extreme high temperatures, and we certainly got it looking out to the west in downtown San Angelo. Mostly clear skies. A few clouds will make their way through the area overnight. 60 degrees right now, so if you are heading out, maybe grab a scarf, some mittens, keep yourself warm tonight. Humidity rising very slightly, 38% right now, and those winds approaching from the south at 6 miles per hour. Looking out at temperatures across the state of Texas, we were dealing with those yellows and oranges and even reds in color. Not anymore. We have some blues and greens. Cooler temperatures for all of the state of Texas. 53 over in Shreveport, comfortable 62 in Houston. Hot spot right now, Laredo at 67, Texas Panhandle. Amarillo sitting at 52 degrees. And in downtown San Angelo right now, holding steady 59 degrees. Still maintaining some of those 60s across most of our areas. Just now 61 in Brady, 60 over in Eden, as well as El Dorado, Mertzen, outwards towards our western areas, 59 in Ozona, as well as Big Lake, even moving up towards Sterling City, holding steady 61 in Robert Lee. Texas satellite and radar, just a few days ago we had that powerful cold front that was moving through our area. This has now pushed its way eastward and just behind it still lots of cool air, but it's lost a lot of its punch over the past few days. Not so many showers and thunderstorms lining up with that cold front, but it is still very long delivering. Lots of cool weather for much of the southeastern parts of the United States and it it curves all the way down from to the Gulf of Mexico and then outwards towards northern Mexico. But let's zoom on into the Concho Valley right now. We do have some showers, even some strong storms to discuss. Outwards towards Kimball and Mason counties, even a couple showers moving their way through Sutton County. Some rumbles of thunder could be heard in our southeastern counties tonight. These are mostly just very stray showers. Nothing that will last for very long, but maybe into the early morning hours. Central and northern counties expect to be dry for tonight. This is mostly just a treat for our southern and our southeastern counties. And this all stems from one Pacific storm that is moving through Baja, California, and will eventually move its way into northern parts of Mexico. But thanks to those trade winds pulling at that moisture into portions of South Texas and Central Texas, and this is why portions of our southern counties receiving a little bit of some treatable showers tonight. Five-day temperature trend, once again, going above average for this time of the year. Sunday and Monday, comfortable, though, 85 degrees. Now, summer trying to make a comeback, 90 degrees. Not to worry, though. Here's our next cold front that we are tracking. Tuesday night, overnight into Wednesday, knocking those temperatures right back down to our average for this time of the year. And then a comfortable 84 degrees for next Thursday. Upcoming rain chances, these will likely change. 10% chance for tomorrow. This will mostly be for our southern counties rising on up 20% in preparation for that cold front. Now, Tuesday, that's our best shot. We'll likely boost this up 30, maybe even 40%. It just depends on how strong that cold front will be come tomorrow and even into Monday. 52 degrees for tonight. Chilly night, so make sure to at least lay out the sweater for the morning hours if you are waking up early tomorrow morning. And speaking of tomorrow, it's going to be a pleasant day. So if you want to go out and enjoy it, 85 degrees degrees for your high if you plan on staying during the overnight hours. 59 degrees, but a very warm and pleasant day. Looking at your seven-day forecast, that cold front arrives Tuesday overnight into Wednesday. That is our next best shot for some rain and cooler conditions returning. And this day in weather history in 1962, known as the Columbus Day Storm, was a Pacific windstorm which struck the Pacific Northwest Coast. At least 46 fatalities were attributed to the storm, along with hundreds of injuries. We will have more after the break.